Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel, Bales 1986SW and I was tagged by the lovely Sarah SW um, to do what's in my makeup bag tag. Um, the original tag was set up by Susie, the lovely Susie. I will link her channel down below and I'll link Sarah's channel down below. Now there's a few of us who have, have done this um, and I absolutely love makeup. I am not claiming that I am really good at it or anything like that. I absolutely love makeup. It is just something I I just love doing. I love doing my makeup. I love doing other people's makeup. Sometimes on an evening when I feel like I want to put my fingers in the um, biscuit tin, I might come upstairs and play around with some like eyeshadows and do different looks. <coughs> I just really thoroughly enjoy it. Um, so this, what I'm going to do is do an everyday, <coughs> I still apologise, everyday um, how I like cleanse my face, well it's not cleanse, like clean my face, prep my face for makeup um, and that's it. However if you really want a thorough um, skincare, because every Sunday I do a proper pamper night, then please comment down below and I'm more than interested in, um, more than happy even. Um, to be doing that for you. Um, so let's get on with it. I'm going to do an everyday look, but because I don't wear eyeshadows um, every day, I will just put a bit of eyeshadow on um, for you guys. So let's get in with it. Let's get on with it, not in with it. The first thing I use every single day is the Garnier Micellar Water. I absolutely love this. Normally I buy it in the smaller bottles. You can buy it in Pound Shop for a pound, the smaller travel size bottles but this was on offer and it just worked out a lot cheaper so um yes I've got a big bottle um I use this every morning to cleanse my face now um on an evening to take my makeup off I will use this to um take my makeup off and cleanse I will also use the Nivea eye the extra gentle eye makeup remover for any eye makeup um, because I just think you, it's a lot better and it doesn't hurt your eyes and especially if you've got waterproof mascara on it comes off lovely and it's not one of those things where it really stings your eyes put a little bit on a pad and then just gently wipe it off and don't go don't irritate the eye like that just wipe and then flip it over and wipe again and then if you need to get a new cotton pad um, to do it on an evening, I use my um, Liz Earl cleansing, hot cleanse balm. Um, not every evening, but most evenings I do um, because I think it gives your face a nice cleanse as well. The one thing I do not use is a proper um, toner. Um, it breaks me out and it just, it just irritates me. I've tried loads of different toners, but they don't seem to work. Whereas this cleansing, water it does it does what it needs to do for me and i absolutely love it you know when you've just found a product which works my seller is my product so face is all nice and clean so i use this every day um to cleanse my face every morning on an evening i will use the um nivea eye makeup remover to remove any makeup then what I use is my Temple Spa Windows of Soul. I think this is the, one of the best um, eye creams going. Eye cream should be put on the ring finger because it's the one which is less, um, you don't you don't pred, prod this in. So basically you go around like that and you're basically bringing the skin up. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. This is just what I do. So I'm no beauty guru or whatever. It's just something... I've done um, so yeah let that dry obviously I let things set um, before I put anything else on so I'm just trying to set it then my um, moisturizer is normally what I will show you is normally this this is my absolute favorite moisturizer um it is the number seven beautiful skin there's a hair on it and um, it is so thick and creamy but i have run out and i need to get some more so um what i've been using 
um, is just a quick alternative is the Nivea Q10 Plus Moisturiser. Um, I like a moisturiser which is thick. Uh, my favourite is the number 7, it will always will be, it's just something which clicks. Um, then I moisturise this into my face. And yes, I will be honest, I do this every single morning. School, school runs and everything. Never put your moisturiser like down your, down your neck. Try and move it up because we don't want gravity to bring it down. We want it to be pushed up. So if you use kitten hands like this, it just brings your neck up. So I'm not saying it works, obviously, but it's just better than bringing it down onto your neck um, kitting it in um, because obviously gravity pulls and we want to do the opposite effect and that is my sk skin prepped I'm trying to like look in this mirror and then look at like look at you guys so that's all my face prepped the one thing I do use just while um, I'm waiting for it all to set in is I use the Blistine um, Cherry Lip Bar um, just to protect, just to protect my lips and it gives a good base when you put your lipstick on and then what I'd have done now is I would go um, and get the children up for up for sleep, up from if it was a morning this is when I'd like this sink in, get the children up for school etc etc do a few jobs and then I would come back and I would then apply my foundation so foundations there is only two foundations i will ever ever use once i think you found your foundation what works for you i don't think you need to de deviate from that that's just my personal opinion um so i have two colors now because we're going into autumn my makeup has just all been changed over um so i've gone from really light peachy colors for the lip and things like that and the skin color um to more of an autumnal feel so the foundation I use every single day is the Bonjour Healthy Mix. This is number 52. Um, the one I, the, the, this is my darker, darker one as well. Um, because now I've found a, a fake tan, which I absolutely love and adore, I will be using that through the whole of the aut autumn, winter season. I won't be stopping. So I'll stick with number 52. Um, is mine whereas normally I would go into a 51 shade for um, autumn I absolutely love this it goes on flawless in my personal opinion however Bonjour is owned by Chanel um, and Chanel is one of my favorite products and their Chanel Aqua is my firm firm favorite um, makeup foundation wise it's just flawless and um, obviously it, it comes at a price but this Bonjour is the dupe of the Chanel um, and because I'm doing this I'm going to use uh, my Chanel but I would use this every single day this is just for special occasions and because I'm filming it I thought I'd show you with this one you have to shake it up because it is a water because it's aqua and I use real technique brushes um, I find them the best but I have but my other firm favorite is Primax brushes as well um, I think they're incredible and then I just put it on. Um, so, like I said, I am no beauty guru or anything like that. I just enjoy putting makeup on. Um, I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. When I was... Um, bigger I never ever used to put makeup on at all um, I just basically I, I gave up on myself when I was bigger I thought what is the point of making my face look try and look my face look pretty when inside I was just I didn't like it um, also as well I will say um, is I do like the Gynae uh, BB cream that's really good if you can't be bothered to put like foundation on and you just want a quick um, it gives a nice um, a nice glow to your skin. I do like a BB cream, but if I'm fully honest, I do like a full, 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 full um, coverage. 
Um, I've just got another mirror here. I'm just going to check. Um, I do like a full coverage. Um, I don't wear makeup to give me extra confidence. I don't do anything like that. I just physically, I just really enjoy doing it. I feel it's like a piece of art and you can do so much with it. And then bring it down, blend on blend. I just have a big forehead as well, so... Um, with blending it all in and then obviously bronzing, I can slightly make my forehead a little bit smaller. I mean, it's it's what it is, what it is. Right, that is my um, foundation on. If you are interested, the Aqua is, I think it's beige, 20 beige, yeah, and it has got an SPF factor in as, as well as 15. So that is my base. Um, on now um, what I do now is I use concealer now this is the concealer I use I'll always use this also I use the collections concealer as well um, this is the wake me up um, concealer I obviously I've got two young children and they love getting up really early so I have a few bags so I always use a brightener um, concealer so it just brightens my eyes up and then all I do is do the triangle. And then what I don't do is, because this has got a brightening um, in it, I don't use this to do like, if I've got any blemishes down here, I don't use it to like cover my blemishes because all it will do is highlight them more because it's got a, a brightening. So I use a concealer, um, which is just a normal dull concealer um so um it doesn't highlight them um so this is just brilliant for under my eyes and all i do is i don't um i basically just dab it in because i don't want it to be blended in because i want um i want to give the illusion of brighter eyes And then I just blend, um, pad it in. There we go. And then it is blusher, um, not blusher, bronzer. Um, I found loads of bronzers in the past, but my firm favourite, and I always go back to it, is the Bonjour, um Chocolate as well. Um, I just find it the best. There's no shimmer in it. I don't like a bronzer to have shimmer, and it smells like chocolate. Um, and it is delicious. Delicious. I don't eat it. It smells delicious. So I just do... I need to look in the mirror now. I just do the... I don't contour or anything like that. I just do the cheeks and try and make my forehead a little bit um, smaller. I do apologise about children. I used to be a person who used to um, buy a load of different um, makeups but my staples never change so my foundation will never I can't see how this is coming off in the mirror, in the viewfinder. I just won't deviate now from my products. I'll mess around with lip colour and eye colour and things like that, but like things like this, I won't um, change. Then it is blusher time. Um, the blusher I use and I love is. Ah, is a product called um, Wet n Wild. It's an American brand. However, we have um, a makeup shop and it sells um, a quite highly priced makeup, um, ha severely reduced. And Wet n Wild is an American brand and I absolutely love it. Um, and this is in shade, in shade, I do not have a clue. It's like a peachy autumnal colour. Um, I did have a lighter colour um, for for 
summer when I've just gonna be a little bit darker. And I just do the apples of my cheeks. Then, what I do then is I go back with my concealer and I just do the bridge of my nose. Because I'm a glasser wearer, I tend to um, get less makeup on my nose because it comes off wearing glasses. There we go. Right, and then we're moving on to um, eyes. So my brows, I'll only use one product and that is the brow design by Bon Joie. I love Bon Joie products. Most of mine are Bon Joie. Uh, can't open it because of me. That's my empty one. I've just ran out of one, so I've just bought one. So I was just checking that needs to go in the bin. And why I love this one is because it's got like a little mascara brush. If you can have any bagging outside, they're just doing some bits and bobs in the neighbours. Now I will use this just to do it. And all I do is follow my natural brow. I just spent ages like doing my brows and now I just can't be bothered it's just fill the bin give them a little bit of a shape and that's it there we go done dusted right eyes I use different palettes um, my two firm favourite palettes are the Naked 3, but like Nikki Connolly said on hers, the brush is absolutely pants, so the brush went. Um, I love these shades, um, they're all like really, really natural shades, love them. My firm, firm, firm favourite favourite is the Too Faced product. All Too Faced products, well these ones, this is the chocolate bar, it smells like chocolate and it is divine. Um, like I said, I don't wear mascara, um, eyeshadows whatsoever when it's a normal day, but I'm just gonna put it on for you. My other firm favorite is this. Um, you can buy these, hello, you can see all my makeup here. Um, you can buy these uh, boots, and the what it is, is you get an empty palette you buy this palette for five pounds um, it comes in a variety of different sizes and then you can buy the different colors in them and these are three pounds each and then you can get a different palette it's like the um oh, what's it called mac where you can do your own and i absolutely love that palette and then my other two favorites are the barry m um, i have the natural palette um, and then I have like the red carpet, which is more like a bit bronzy and things like that. So what I'm going to do is stick to my um, chocolate bar because this is the one I do tend to use. That's all my brushes and everything because I don't really use them. As you can see, I hardly use um, eyeshadow, so I'm just getting my brushes out. So, let's get on with it. I'm just doing this natural, and I'm no pro with this, so. I'm using coconut cream, just to coat my eyes. Then I'm just going to use pink sugar, 
which is that one there. Just to give it a bit of a, a glittery base. Then I've got a, a crease brush which I'll use the caramel because it's that one there. So I've used coconut cream, pink blush and then I'm just using this for the creases here just to give a bit of definition. Like I said, I'm no expert, I just do what I think looks alright for me. Then what I will get is, this is the Bunge Wah um, Satin 24 Hour Eyeshadow. I absolutely love this. This is a brilliant um, for Christmas time because you can put this on and then put a little bit of glitter on and it just sets. Um, and then what I will do is I just put this in the corners of my eyes just to give it a bit of brightness in my eyes. And that's my eyes done. Then um, mascara. I have two mascaras which I use. Um, now I am really really funny with mascaras um, a lot of people will say I've had this for ages now I don't know if you know this one hasn't got it on this one has right is all your products will have a sell-by date on them and I've had a really bad reaction when I put a mascara on which I've had for ages put it on my eyes and it gave me an allergic reaction um, because it was out of date now I am really really bad at like getting rid when it comes up to the end of the day oh i think i've had this for a while just because especially with my eyes just because i'm really protective so like this one which is maybelline satin eyeshadow and this is a gel form um this one lasts and this little symbol here um if you see the symbol it'll have a number and then an m and that means that that's the sell by date so this one lasts six months when it's opened um, and mascaras are uh, between three and six months. So I always, always double check the sell by dates um, because obviously I've had a bad reaction. So the two I love is the, um, I think this is Bonjour, I think most of mine. This is the Bonjour um, Volume Reveal. Um, I love it because it's got the mirror here. And then um, if I'm going out and about, if I'm going out, out, um, I will use my Clinique because I just love that brush. Um, so I'll do my mascara. And I love this, love this one. It just gives my eyes a bit of a lift. There we go, and then I will just quickly do my bottom. Da da! Then I will get my bonjour highlighter. I use my finger most of the time. I'm not going to use a brush because this is how I do it. I get my finger, and then I need a mirror to do this. Is I just go to the top of my eyebrow and give it a bit of highlight a definition that's all just there like that then I will get my where is it? my highlighter brush and then just do it here 
bit of highlight. There we go. Then, lipstick. I love lipsticks. I will change, that's the one thing I will change. I'd love also just to, I'd love to be able to do the eyeliner. Um, I have the um, Super Liner, I think this is L'Oreal Super Super Liner, um, but, and I have the pen form. I can do it, but it takes me forever. So this is the only thing you will know if I'm going out, out, is I've got liner on because I can't be doing with it. Um, so, my um, lipsticks, I have loads, absolute loads of lipsticks. These are the ones which I use um, for like everyday kind of thing. So my everyday lipstick, in most of my videos, I will use the Bonjour Velvet, and I think this is vel in, in the colour Velvet number seven. It is just such a pretty nude, um, and it goes on, it stays matte, um, I absolutely love that. Um, then I like the W7 um, lip um, lip liner in red. I will fill my whole lip in um, because then if it does fade, um, it doesn't like show you that just the lip line, it just fades nicely. Then my other one, which I tend to use in more Halloween, October time, it's more of a purple colour um, and that's the Bonjour um, um, Rouge Edition in number 18. Then I love these, these are the Lip Duo um, by Bonjour. Um, in summer, um, spring and summer I had a peachy one, but as you can see it has two different colours. So you put the dark one at the top and then it gives you a lip liner and also a nice colour what goes together. And then one of my other firm favourites is the Burt's Bees. This is number 530 Lily Cake. Um, these are really, really soft. Um, I'm really nice on but what I'm going to do is just use my everyday bonjour um, lip colour so you do the top end goes at the lips give you a lip liner like that and then you turn it over and do that then And there you go. That is all my makeup that I use on a daily basis. Um, obviously, I don't use eyeshadow. Um, the highlighter would go, um, but everything else is stay. Um, I think it's given a very nice glow, um, that light. So yeah, that is everything I use in my um, makeup. Um, I will link the people I'm going to tag down below because I know quite a few people have been tagged. Actually, I'm going to tag Nicola Mummy P, I think her name is called. Um, she, I found her on the Instagram because she's, um, I'm sure she does Slimming World and she's a person who does a bit of everything. Um, I'll link her channel down below and I'll also her Instagram. Um, I don't know who else. See, the budget slimmers, I don't think they wear makeup, but they could have a really good skincare. I know that a few other people have tagged them. Let's tag the budget slimmers. And I don't know who else has been tagged. I'll link the people down below. Um, I'll have a look at other people's tags, who have they tagged them in, and we'll, we'll do that. So, yes, hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry it's a bit long um, and boring. Could be boring. You might have found it interesting. Anyway, so take care. Send your positive thoughts. Rachel.